If you're into inertia, you probably already had a look over Ping CRM, the demo Jonathan set up as an example application. If you haven't, check out the link in the description. You'll find it very useful to help you get started with inertia in Laravel. One of the problems I ran into is how to properly determine whether a route is the active one so you can style it accordingly. In the Ping CRM demo, we have this sidebar that highlights every menu item whenever we visit a specific route or a subroute like edit organization. To check how this works, we can go to the main menu component and see that we're using an EasyRL method to set the appropriate class for the menu item. If we scroll down, we can see that the method checks whether the current URL starts with whatever we pass in as a parameter. But while it's good enough for basic URLs, it gets complicated when you want to check against longer and more dynamic ones, and you end up adding a bunch of other conditionals to make it work. A better solution would be to rely on route names. Ziggy already provides a current method that checks whether the passed in name matches the current route. Let's go ahead and replace the isURL method. So we can do that by selecting all the occurrences and type route current. And make sure we add in the dashboard route name. Now if we run the watcher and check whether the change was successful. So we go to contacts, organizations, dashboard, reports. As you can see, it only seems to work when the page is loaded for the first time. The reason is because Vue.js doesn't update the main menu component unless you specify a key that will change whenever we visit a new page so it knows when to re-render the menu component. Let's get into the layout component and set the current URL as key for the main menu component. This is for the drop-down menu and we should do the same for the sidebar menu, right here. This will ensure the component re-renders whenever the current URL changes. So if we go back to the browser and refresh, we now see that the menu items are highlighted based on the visited page. It seems to be working, but if we go to edit an organization, the menu item isn't highlighted anymore. The reason is because the current method only checks for the index route. To make it work for the edit and create routes, we can use a wildcard instead. So if we go to the main menu, where the organization's route is, we can add a wildcard like this. And this will make sure that whatever route name starts with organizations will highlight the menu. So if we refresh, it surely works. If somehow your application structure requires you to highlight a menu item on completely different routes, instead of adding a conditional here, we might as well create an isRoute method that can receive multiple route names as arguments. To do that, we can go to the app.js file, where the Ziggy route is defined, and add in our own method called isRoute that will receive many route names and it will check that at least one of the routes matches the current one. To do that we can use the sum method route this route current route. This will allow us to check against more than one route name. So if you go back to the main menu we can replace the route current method with our newly defined is route and pass in a second argument organizations.create. Okay, let's test this in the browser. So whenever I visit an edit page, the organization's menu item shouldn't be highlighted. But when I visit a create organization, it should be highlighted. To finish things out, let's replace our route current method everywhere in the main menu. So select all occurrences and is route. 
and let's also remove the URL props and the is URL method as we don't need those anymore and we could do the same in the layout so we no longer need the URL prop let's go back to the browser to make sure everything works and it does that's it bye